Welcome to Sensodyne Nourish Presents Body and Mind Season 7. Now imagine having your own personal trainer in your own private gym. Sounds like luxury, doesn't it? Today I'm at my private gym in Motor City where you get 45 minutes of personalized training in your own private space. So I'm at my private gym with the co-owner and the personal trainer here. Rinku, thank you so much for having me here. Thank you for coming. Uh, tell me a little bit about my private gym. I mean, because timing-wise, there couldn't have been a better time to have this sort of a concept. Right, so during COVID, uh, when my husband wanted to start a new business, he thought, why not my private gym? At the moment, we are all very apprehensive in going into a gym and having a lot of people around us. So instead, why don't we do something where it's just your trainer and yourself just for 45 minutes? You know, then with this concept, uh, once the uh, session's over, people will come in, I mean, someone will come in, clean, disin disinfect the, you know, all the machineries, and then you're ready for your next client. And at the same time, because of, you know, we're not waiting for machineries either. You know, when the session's going on, it's not like you're sharing it with anybody else. So you don't need to stand around, and the fact that someone comes and cleans, even people with a little bit of OCD, I mean, this would be Absolutely. a dream concept for them. Boris, I really want to ask you, you've been in the fitness industry for 14 years. 14 years yes. What would you say is one of the advantages of having a one-on-one -on -one session with you and a client in a private setting like this with no one else around? Yeah, first of all is the privacy that a lot of people are struggling with uh, exercising when other people people are looking, they don't have the confidence for it and that's stopping from even starting to work out. So we are offering that privacy. As uh, Ms. Rinku said, you don't need to wait for anything, so we are time efficient and all focus, it's only on a client. Well, I'm here to do my bit and uh, I'm not going to be alone. I'm going to have a fitness challenger who's going to join me in just a bit and Boris is of course going to be our coach and moderator. Are we ready for this? Yes, of course. My challenger today is an entrepreneur, an influencer, and a super mom. Let's say a quick hello to Neha. Hi, Neha. Hi, Ashwarya. Thank you so much for having me here today. Very excited to have you here on the show for the first time. Neha, I believe that your relation with fitness goes quite deep, even far beyond this challenge that we're about to do today. Tell us more. Yeah. Um, I'm in a very busy phase of my life uh, right now, especially I'm a mother, an entrepreneur, uh, running two businesses parallelly as well as a content creator. I have to wake up every morning, um, you know, to give my best at everything I do. Mm -hmm. And I think fitness really helps me stay fit, not just physically, but also mentally so that I can give my best in whatever I'm doing. And you own a fitness company, don't you? Yeah, so I run a startup with my husband that's called Fitzy. It's an application that rewards the UAE residents for walking. Oh. Uh, we've just partnered with Dubai government for the Dubai Fitness Challenge right now. Uh, so yeah, in, in all the ways uh, I talk fitness. Wow. Do you have any program that rewards people for sitting? <laughs> oh my <laughs> It's a wrong show, not, not for this show. <laughs> because I would ace that one, really. Um, <laughs> trust me, you would also ace when you download the app because you win for every step you take, you know. So, so that's the point. Speaking of winning, what do you think your chances are today in our fitness challenge? <laughs> uh, Colors TV has got the best the fittest host possible. That's not the right thing to do. Oh, who's that? But who's that again? <laughs> I'm going to give my best. <laughs> All right, let's do this, Neha. Good Thank luck. You. Thank you so much. So the battle lines are drawn and we have the mediator over here, Boris. So what do we start with? Okay, ladies. So today through this challenge, I'm going to test your stability, upper, lower body strength, a little bit of endurance. And for the very last challenge, we're going to combine mind and body. Uh, you're going to compete in one really fun game. Let's keep it as a, as a surprise. All right, perfect. So should we start with our warm-up then? Yes, of course. Before right. we start challenges, we'll do a quick and brief warm-up. Okay, ladies, now that we are warmed up, it's time for our first challenge, and it's going to be elbow plank hold. But I know that you are fit and strong. We're going to make it even tougher that after 30 seconds, I'm going to keep adding plates. So after every 10 seconds, I'm going to keep putting more and more, okay? All right. And let's see who's going to win. Cool. Good luck, ladies. 
Okay, ladies, ready? Three, two, one, go. Job. Uh, the plank challenge was, I think, one of the most difficult ones because uh, I think stability is something uh, not my um, USP. And being the first one, and I always uh, talk about fitness and the importance of fitness in my life, I wanted to give my best. Either. The plank challenge definitely started off quite easy, but then as the plates kept piling on, it started to get a little bit too much for my lower back and I wasn't sure how much longer my opponent might sort of stay on. So I was uh, nervous and I gave up. <laughs> okay, we're done. So one minute and 20 seconds and one minute and 24. Great job, great job, Nia. Okay, so after first challenge, Nihal, it's leading 1L, congratulations. Okay, now we're gonna test your strength a little bit, so our next challenge is gonna be push-ups, okay? How we're gonna do it, I'm gonna dictate the tempo, you're following who stays the last, or continue, is the winner of this challenge, okay? Good luck. Three, two, one, let's go, ladies. Okay, prepare, okay, let's go. Down and up, that's one, down, Three. <laughs> the push-up challenge, I just wanted to win at any cost. I am not very good with push-ups, but somehow I managed to do it. Um, I think this is the most amount of push-ups. I think we did about 17 or 18. I think it's probably the most I've done in one go. Down and 17. Great job, ladies. Down and Okay, we have a winner. Great job, Ash, you won this one. So we have a tie. Nice, great job, great job. This was really good, really good. Okay, ladies, now it's time for our third test, okay, challenge. So we're gonna now test your speed and explosiveness, okay? So first task is going to be to do three steps on a stepper, which will gonna be followed with one burpee. And that's gonna be counted as one. So we're gonna do one minute of this challenge and whoever does more reps, mm -hmm. it's gonna be the winner. Okay, ready? Okay, two, one, and go. I think burpees was one of the most exciting um, uh, challenges, rounds of all. Uh, I love, there were so many different things I had to take care of while performing that one. And that's what I do in my day-to-day -day life. So I think more the pressure, more the concentration. So I think I really did well there. <laughs> With the burpees challenge, I struggled with something I struggle with a lot, which is remembering sequence. That's why I don't even participate in any kind of dances at weddings, because it's very hard for me to remember the steps. It's probably my ADD, or I'm not sure what it is. And three, two, one. So our final score in this burpee challenge, it's 11 to nine. Great job, Niha, it's two, one for you. Great job. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for our fourth challenge. It is a rowing. So we're gonna compete in rowing on 200 meters. Uh, whoever scores the better time, so who does this 200 meters the fastest, is the winner. Okay, it's time to start. Let's go. I think rowing I did last six years ago. I am not so good at it and I've never tried it a lot. Uh, and I didn't know because that was one challenge which we did individually one at a time. Uh, I didn't know what I was getting into and there was no bar that I had to, you know, uh, compete for. And we are done. Great job. Final time, 55 seconds. Really good. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, Ash, now it's your turn. The time you need to beat, it's 55.2 seconds. If you win this challenge, it's even. It's gonna be 2-2, it's gonna be draw, okay? Good luck. Thank you. Give us your best, and go. I knew that I had Neha's 55 second score to beat, but by this point, I started to feel a little bit dizzy. I probably uh, exerted myself a little too much. 
and I was only focusing on doing my best. I wasn't feeling my usual competitive spirit because me feeling a little bit dizzy by this point did hamper, I guess, my adrenaline a little bit. And I just wanted to finish the challenge and do the best of what I could. And at, by this point, I was not trying to compete with uh, Neha's score at all. And good, great job, great job. Our time, it's one minute and two seconds. Great job, you're amazing. You. So we've just finished our fitness challenge. Uh, we were supposed to do five, but we've stopped at four because we have a clear winner, right? Yes. So congratulations for that. Thank you so much. Neha, that was a lot Great of job. fun. Uh, Boris, so tell us a little bit about how the two of us did. No, you were you're amazing. It was like really, really close. Mm -hmm. So it just seconds and just a yeah. little bit strength, just decided the winner, yeah. but it was really close tie. Mm -hmm. Great job. I think we both gave our best. So Boris, what would you say are the areas we can work on? Okay, well, let's start with you. So uh, I would work on your core stability to prevent the low back pain. It was visible on a plank challenge that additional weight on your back was kind of kind of push your body couldn't resist. Mm -hmm. And anyhow, for you, I would work on a little bit more on upper body strength. Mm -hmm. As you could see, that one only challenge that you lost mm -hmm. was um, testing your upper body strength. Right. So yeah. yeah, you should focus on that. Thank Everything you. else, ladies, you're, you're amazing. Thank you for your feedback, Boris. It's been a lot of fun, Neha. You are a sport. Thank you so Thank much. You so and Boris, much. you too. Thank you. Thank you, Boris. You're welcome. Did I unleash the beast within? Maybe not so much, but there's always going to be a next time because guess what? There's going to be so many such fun challenges coming up on this season of Body and Mind. Now it's time for a quick break. On the other side, there's going to be some much needed refueling. Welcome back to Sensor and Nourish presents Body and Mind Season 7. What used to be a feast for ancient Hawaiians in its simple form of freshly caught fish and an eclectic mix of raw ingredients has become a rage worldwide. Poke Bowls, as we now call it, is known for its wide variety and power-packed combos. I feel like I'm in an island in Hawaii somewhere, but actually, in reality, I'm in the heart of DIFC, right here in Dubai at Poke & Co with the lovely founder, Rania. Hi. Rania, thank you so much for having me thank over here. Thank you so much for coming. It's a pleasure having you. You know, you've just taken me to Hawaii without even a plane ticket. How did you do that? <laughs> By using colorful, fresh ingredients. Absolutely. <laughs> Rania, tell me a little bit about Poke & Co because the name sure. is quite self-explanatory, but I want to know a little bit about how it has evolved because it is very multicultural uh, by nature, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, 100%. So to start off with, the word pokey actually means to cut or to slice, and it refers to the fresh cubes of fish that you see here right in front of you. And it originated like in the 1800s, and traditionally fishermen in Hawaii would go out on their boats and fish whole uh, tuna, um, cut it up raw and serve it over rice with seasonings and now it's really got a lot of um, influences from Japan and from different countries in uh, Asia. Mm -hmm. um, it still remains very healthy, very fresh and it's, yeah. it's incredible how much it has evolved because what just started off as seasoned raw fish on a exactly. bed of wild rice has really evolved into so many different things. And of course, with the Chinese immigrants, uh, the, the seaweed and soy sauce exactly. has given it such an umami texture yeah. to it. I love it. So tell me about this bowl that I'm eating, about to eat right here. So in front of you, you've got the spicy Maui. This is one of our best sellers. Um, mm. It's made of raw tuna and raw salmon. Quick and question, what's yes. the actual way of eating it? Do I just give it all a big stir? Or so <laughs> it's completely up to you. Like mm -hmm. most of our customers, they like to drizzle the sauce oh, on yes. top of it. And then of just course. Dig. What sauce is this? This is the hot chili ponzu. Mm. So, so should I... Uh, Drop it sparingly or? It depends if you like spicy or not. Sure, I'm Indian dude, I do spicy. And this has jalapenos as well, so. Mm -hmm. 
that dressing is a game changer because suddenly, I mean, it has given life to all these yeah, fresh exactly. ingredients on this bowl over here. I love sushi grade seafood. It's it's the best. And the beauty about Poke and Co is that you can build your own bowl. And exactly. I've just built my own over here. Of course, I had to drizzle a ton of mayo in it. Um, so, do you want to just quickly take me through this whole concept of building your own bowl over here? Yeah, definitely. So, first step in building your own Poke bowl is to choose your base. Uh, we have a number of different base options. We've got rice options, brown rice, signature rice, sushi rice, quinoa. And for those customers that are looking for something low carb, um, we've got mixed greens and zucchini noodles. So zucchini noodles are just spiralized raw zucchini. And a lot of our customer customers love that crunch that it gives. Once you've selected your base, you then move on to selecting the protein. And the protein is like the star of the dish. Most of our customers go for the raw salmon or the raw tuna, but we've also got non-raw uh, options like cooked salmon, chicken, shrimp, like you've selected mm. here. Uh, once you've selected your protein, you then go for the mix-in. So this is mixed in with the protein, and this really gives the flavor along with the sauce. For my veggies, I chose edamame because it is such a superfood and a staple for any kind of Asian-inspired dish. Sweet so corn, uh, spring onions, regular onions, and I believe that's it, right? Jalapenos. For my veggies. And jalapenos, of course, for a little bit of heat. How can I forget? Then I've topped it with a little bit of crab sticks because why not? Um, seaweed salad, yes. which is delicious, very, very fresh. It's got a crunch to it. And I've drizzled it with some spicy mayo. Yeah, and for added crunch, I think you went for some crispy onions. Yes, that's where the crunch is coming from. It's hard to remember what all I <laughs> yeah. put in. I was being really greedy with my ingredients. I was like, put this, put that, put this. But I really like this one. What would you say are some of your classic or the most popular dishes over here? So actually 70% of the customers like to build your own and because we have over 60 different ingredients, they never get bored. Every day you go for a different combination, you go for a different protein, you go for a different base, so that's why it's our most popular. In terms of the signatures, we have the aloha, uh, which is the raw salmon. This is very popular, and the spicy Maui, which you've gone for. Rania, although this is Poke & Co, you're not all about just Poke, are you? So yes, exactly. So this is where the name Pokey & Co actually came from. We didn't want to just serve Pokey. We wanted to serve different, healthy, exciting This looks food. like a long sushi roll before it's been sliced. <laughs> yeah, this is a before Pokey it's been burrito. Pokeyed. Yeah, all right. So the one in front of you is called the Dynamite Pokerito. It's got a spicy and sesame sauce. Okay, let me take a bite of this one. It's going to be a little bit messy, but I'm still going to give it a go. Mm. It comes as well with uh, the classic sushi condiments. So you have the wasabi, the soy sauce, and the pickled ginger there as well. Do you have different variations in this? Yeah, and you can even build your own. We've got around six or seven signatures, and uh, most of our customers, again, they build their own pokerito. Now, for breakfast lovers or people who love a good sourdough, yeah. you have this. Tell us about this one. So, this is our bruschetta avocado toast. Mm -hmm. um, it's made with uh, smashed avocado. You've got the mozzarella balls, cherry tomatoes, and it's drizzled wow. with the balsamic glaze. Mm -hmm. And again, we like to give our customer the chance to build their own um, food. So, here you also have a build your own avocado toast. The food is absolutely delicious, but let's not forget this drink over here is just heavenly. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. So favorite. fresh. Mm. Rania, I can't wait to come back. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure. Right, so I am going to still keep poking into my poke bowl, if Rania will allow me, that is. There's lots more on the other side, so make sure you come back because the fun continues. Welcome back to Sensodyne Nourish presents Body and Mind Season 7. Now, after a rigorous workout, many of us may experience aching body, muscle, fatigue and whatnot. That's when you know it's time to reset.
So to give me a little bit of an idea of what I'm in store for today is the wellness representative here at Resync. Let's say hello to the lovely Joy. <laughs> Joy, thank you so much for having me here. Well, so welcome, Ash. Uh, welcome to Resync, by the way. It's my joy being here, I must say. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about what Resync offers? Yeah, so Resync is a unique wellness studio wherein we do have a range of hot and cold therapies being offered in here. So we have whole body cryotherapy and also red light therapy. Your cryo treatment here is quite popular and there's a lot of research that shows the benefits of cryo. Some even claim weight loss, mm -hmm. uh, which you can achieve from it. So tell us a little bit about what your cryo treatment here is like. Yeah, so we are known for the whole body cryotherapy, that is Resync. Mainly it's a unique wellness studio, wherein we do have the chamber here, which is minus 110 degrees Celsius, and you will be spending the next three and a half minutes in it. Mm -hmm. We also have like the localized one, we call it a cryo T shock, which wherein you'll be uh, fat freezing a certain area of your body, could be for your tummy, back, legs, wherever you need a fat freezing treatment. Oh wow, that's fascinating, especially in this really humid Dubai weather. There's no way I'd rather be than a freezing cold cryo chamber for sure. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, we're popular for that. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, so that was the cold treatment. Tell us about the hot treatment, the red light uh, treatment. It is, it does use cutting edge technology, but I want to understand a little bit more about it. So what the red light does, it's good for inflammation, muscle recovery, cell regeneration. And it's also anti-aging. So it's good for the face, for the hair, and for the nails. Well, Joy, I'm going to leave myself in your very capable <laughs> arms, and you can take care of me from this point onwards. Okay, sure, no worries. <laughs> so you can get started. After that very claustrophobic experience at the Novo Thor pod at the red light therapy, now it's time to go full Eskimo for my cryo treatment. Welcome to the whole body cryo chamber, Ash. All right, so you can see we have two chambers in here. Mm -hmm. We've got the minus 60, where you're gonna be spending the next 30 seconds of the treatment, and the next one, which is the minus 110 for three minutes. There's a clock behind you, it will light up real quick for the next 30 seconds, and a white light will be flashing. That will be the signal to go to the main one, which is the minus 110. Mm -hmm. So while inside, you just have to do some light stretches or just stand straight, that's it, and feel the cold. Okay, sure. Let's do it. So I've just gotten dressed again after my cryo and red light therapy. Wow, what an experience it was. How was it? How was it, Ash? It was really nice because I expected the hot to be like really hot. In my head, I somehow thought it would be like a sauna, okay. but it was actually a very relaxing treatment, the red light treatment that I uh, just underwent. The cryo, on the other hand, I mean, this is not my first time, but every time I do it, the shock value that it has <laughs> is on another level. You can never get used to that, can you? Well, for me, I almost like, like, doing it on a regular basis, so uh -huh. I'm used to it, okay. and I really love it. So I leave the brand and, and I do it regularly, so yeah. What would you say are some of the key differences besides, of course, the obvious one, which is the temperature, the key differences between the two treatments? Okay, so um, anyway, for the whole body cryo and the red light, somehow they have same benefits, I would say. Mm -hmm. However, the only difference uh, I would say is that, say for the red light, it will be more on cell regeneration, it helps, uh, say, certain surgeries that you may have or any healing, basically, it will really speed it up, mm -hmm. yeah? And then with the whole body cryo, mainly it's a cold treatment, so it somehow constricts your vessels while the red light will be like dilating it, so it will, you'll be oh. more relaxed. That's why it improves your blood circulation. Okay. Well, Joy, this has been an absolute pleasure. I've thoroughly enjoyed. I feel very relaxed and rejuvenated after the two <laughs> treatments, and hopefully I'll come back very soon for my next session. Great to know, uh, Ash. You're most welcome, and you're very much welcome to come back. Thank anytime. you. All right, most welcome. 
Another week of challenges, nourishment and healing has come to an end, but we'll be back at it next week with the same vigor. Until then, let the positivity drizzle.